morning. Um, it's getting nice and cool at night, but it's still very, very hot during the day. Um, so, and that's pretty much the entire United States and Europe right now from what I see on the news. Hope everybody's staying cool in this heat. Today I'm going to talk to you about a really cool cactus. It's an epiphyte, very much like the epiphytums hanging over me. They're also epiphytes. Um, unlike the epiphytums, this one doesn't have the big giant flashy blooms, but it's still a beautiful plant nonetheless. And it is called Pseudoripsalis um, ramulosa and, or Kimnachia ramulosa. It's got two names, only one species though. This is closely related to the ripsalis that we grow out there that we also call the mistletoe cactus. This one can be called the same thing because of little berry notes that it makes on the bottom. Um, so they get confused sometimes. But it is its own species, its own thing. In the direct sunlight, it turns this brilliant crimson red. And the more sunlight it gets, the redder it gets. You don't want to overdo it, though. It'll burn it up. Um, it is a jungle cactus. And being an epiphyte, it does not want to be totally dry, especially not in the summertime. This one gets watered about every day, every two days outside. Um, in the greenhouse in the winter, I water it once a week. That seems to be enough for it. And you can tell where the sun hits it because it's beautiful red on this side with its reds. And on the back, just green. Usually when you buy this plant, it is just green because in nursery, they're not going to put these things out in blasting sun. So you see a bunch of just green on them. But this is what they turn into when you hit them with sun. This one is on the front porch and it gets sun from about 1.30, 2 o'clock until it, it, the sun sets. So with that being the case, it gets plenty. It could be, <laughs> I could be a little less lazy and turn it so that I don't get this on the back, but I really don't you know, care about that. It's beautiful anyway. This was a tiny, tiny little cutting, literally that size when I started it about three years ago. So now you see how big it is. Because it's an epiphyte, it doesn't need a huge pot. Like I said, it just doesn't want to be bone dry like a regular cactus, otherwise it will perish. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. Um, also, I'm on Instagram. It's mblade1969. There's hundreds and hundreds of videos there. I started it long before I started the YouTube channel. So feel free to follow me there, and I'll talk to you later.